So a couple months ago, at Signature Solar, they were selling these EG4 12 volt, 100 amp hour, 7,000 cycle, deep cycle, 12 volt, they're 12.8 volt batteries that you can drain down to 9.6 volts. I'm gonna use this as a direct replacement for my battery, my AGM battery that is in my motor home for starting my generator and running my LED lights and small things like that. The exhaust fan, um, I could, might even be able to use it to run my refrigerator because I'm gonna have four of these in parallel. So normally they were $549 and they're still on sale until supplies last for $239. That's what it cost me to get an AGM 12.8 volt battery right now. So considering you can get 7,000 cycles, um, which is almost 20 years versus the um, two to three years that we get out here in Arizona on our AGM or lead acid batteries. You don't want to use this in the engine compartment to start your engine, but it can be a direct replacement um, for like on your boat, um, even like maybe golf carts. Um, check with Signature Solar and ask them about your application and make sure that it's a application that this would be a direct replacement. Um, but it, you can't put this in your engine compartment to start your engine all the time. It's not designed for that. So anyways, we're gonna unbox this thing and open it up. Now, when you open this thing up, it's sent um, in a pretty thick, it's like a double layer cardboard box. And they have nice padding, foam padding on here. That's probably close to an, three quarters to an inch thick on that. And it's really thick on these sides. And then over here, really padded nice. It's got some nice room in there where, you know, probably a good three quarters of an inch where it's got an open space between the battery and the box so if it gets crushed in but these boxes when they're taped up are solid so it comes in a um, plastic bag then they also have in the bottom of the box uh, another shell that I mean, that's pretty thick right here. Three quarters of this there. Probably about three quarters on the bottom as well. And that's pretty much it in the box. No instructions. You'll have to go on their website to be able to get them. And pretty easy. Just go to signaturesolar.com and you can find those with this battery. Now, this is Bluetooth and they actually give you a Bluetooth ID on here. So it's model EG4-LFP-12100. And it's a 12.8 12 12 volt, 100 amp hour, 1280 watt hour. It's a Life Power 4 battery, BMS is inside. <clears throat> you can cycle this between charging at 14 and 14.4. Float charge is 13.8. Max charging current is 100 amps. Max discharging current is 100 amps. They suggest 30 amps for the charging, but um, the thing only weighs 22 pounds. The AGM batteries that I had before, I had like 16 of those gray ones, those light catcher solar, which they're not in business anymore. Those were over 60 pounds. These are 22 pounds. So that's like three of these for the weight of one of those AGMs. And uh, that is a pretty nice little package here for a direct replacement. You know, I just replaced my AGM in my motorhome last year and it was over $240 out the door. And this is $239. And that thing's only gonna last me two or three years out here. This is gonna last me 7,000 cycles. Huge difference. At 365 cycles um, in a year, one cycle a day, and you can only run those AGMs down to 12.8 volts, 
as where you can run these down to 9.6 volts. That's almost three volts lower per battery. So huge difference on, especially when you're trying to get your generator, I have a propane generator, and sometimes it'll take like 10, 12 tries. It's just, sometimes it starts up on the first or second try, sometimes it's like 10 or 12. I wear that battery down, that AGM battery, and then I have to wait for the little solar panel to charge it back up again, which could take hours. But with these, I'm going to have like three or four of these in parallel. I, I will never. It'll take me hours <laughs> of cranking on that thing. So very nice. It's got um, Allen head. Um, I'm mean, sorry, Phillips on the uh, top here. And I'm not sure if that's like a half inch or what it is, but comes with a washer and a lock washer on there. Now, if we go over here, if you go to their website, you would go into your products, go down to batteries, go over and go down to RV um, mobile dash RV dash golf cart. And then this screen will pop up. So it shows you that it's a, a waterproof and it's Bluetooth and has the BMS inside and everything. So uh, if we were to click on that, we would go over to, oops, let's click on it. I didn't want to put it in my cart. Um, there we go. If we click on that, we will go to this screen right here. And they do give you scan codes on here that you could scan that um, for either Apple or Android. So here's your some of your specs over here. It's 10.2 inches by 6.6 .6 inches by 8.2 inches. 22 pounds, waterproof. And then you can get into the spec sheet here. Um, here's your, let's see where my spec sheet is. Oh, there's a spec sheet. Okay, so this gives you some specs on that. It's a five-year warranty, Bluetooth monitoring, uh, completely waterproof, welded prismatic cells. So you don't have to worry about if it's in a golf cart or what, camper or whatever. Uh, the, they weld those cells together, so if they have screws just holding together, that would come apart. But these were actually welded, so those four cells are not going to come apart where they're connected. So you have all your your stuff over here, but... That, to me, that module voltage protection, that you can discharge that um, down to 9.6 volts, is just, <laughs> that's nice. So, if we also go into our instructions here, they go into this, give you a little bit more uh, 10 to 20 year life design. Then it gives you some more specs here. Once again, some more specs. Um, just look at those. See, there's a recommended charge current is 30 amps. So we can also oops, go down. Here's some more specs on here. A lot of information in here for the BMS and the battery and that. Okay, so if you go to here, I just wanted to show you this. If we go there and click on our camera, and mine's a uh, Apple, so it's, I'm going to hit that. It's going to go right to the app, and it's the EG4 right here. We're just going to download that. Downloads real quick. It's not a big app. Going to open it up. It says... AG4 would like to use the Bluetooth. We're going to do that. And over here on our battery, we already have a battery connected. Um, negative positive cable to a Anderson 175 amp to a 12 volt charge controller over here. And we will plug that in in a second. But on here, we go to this ID here. And there's our ID, and we look for that on this list here, and here it is right here. So now it pulls up our list. 
we're showing, I've noticed now my batteries, they're under 50% charged and they have to do that by law. They can't send a fully charged battery. So, but it's showing 13.1 volts. There's no current and it's 71 degrees right now. You can go to here. You can see your cell voltages. There's four cells and they'll tell you the voltages. Printed circuit board temperature, your cell one and cell two temperatures. They'll give you those temperatures right there. So, and there's nothing you can do in the settings. It just, there's nothing in there that you can do. So if we go here, we plug this in. Now we have zero current right here. And if we plug this in, we will look and now we're at 57.7 amps, 57.1 on our current. And we'll start charging this up. And at that, that'll probably take about a half hour to charge this thing up um, at half charge to get it fully charged. And even at 46, we're at 13 volts <laughs> on that. You can't do that with a AGM. <laughs> it's not possible. So going back to this, um, there, like I said, there's... Um, they have the manual here. You can just click on that. It'll open up the manual for you so you can follow the manual and the directions. Um, like I said, there's the... There is the um, Android application and the Apple application. And if you look here, you can get some more information on this battery. Um, got some reviews in here. Everybody's giving it five stars. Uh, two pages here so yep all five stars so pretty nice I'll put link in the description for this they also have a 12 volt uh, charger that uh, you can get you go in here go to batteries again um, oops if I go in here Go to batteries. Me just can't seem to get on that battery. There we go. Battery chargers. So if you go down and you look right here, here's the EG4 battery charger, 12 volt, 15 amp. And click on click on that. And there you go. Gives you the specs. 180 watts. Uh, 120 volt outlet, 15 amp. Uh, the one we're running right now is actually a 58. It'll go up to 58 amps. It's adjustable, but I don't even think you can get them anymore. And on that, we are using uh, 1.01 kilowatts. And it's only showing using like, oh, one amp. Out of the battery it yeah, uses around 16 17 amps but we're pulling in pulling in 17 amps right now and it's still using an amp out of the battery one to two amps so it's like 16 18 amps on this thing that uh it's pulling out of my uh pulling out of my battery bank so and I'm actually running that, charging that off of solar using these EG4 battery banks. I'll put links in the description for a lot of the stuff. Anyways, just wanted to show you that real quick. And what a nice little battery that is and how <laughs> very inexpensively priced. Like I said, you wouldn't want to put this in a car or, you know, your motorhome to start your engine on a daily basis. That's not what it's designed for. This is designed for your boat, um, a golf cart, or to start like your generator and things like that. It's not really a direct replacement for um, your 12 volt that you start your car on a daily basis. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put links in the description. We are an affiliate with Signature Solar and we do get a small percentage of the sale that helps us to buy all these products and do unboxing, connect them up, um, test them out, and do reviews on them. And uh, we do have to purchase the products. 
so that um, we can get these things. But, man, they're kind of like a one-stop shop now for me that I can get everything. In fact, I've got um, wiring. We actually did a review, our open box, and then connected the um, Victron Energy that we're going to use. We're going to use this during the day to run our air conditioner and also to uh, charge our batteries up. And then nighttime, we use that Victron that is a 48 volt, uh, 1200 watt, 120 volt AC um, to use that. But if we needed to in a pinch, we're gonna get a another Victron 12 volt inverter that's 1200 watts. And if we needed to in a pinch, we could use these four in parallel and then connect that inverter and we could use that as well. So a lot of options. Anyways, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. See you in the next video. I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024.